get to the money. Hey, gotta get to the money. Uh huh. Early morning, so you know that I'm on it. So you know that I'm on it. Gotta make sure that my fans are straight. Gotta make sure that my teams are made. Welcome to another episode of Drink It After Dark, a podcast where we discuss random topics while having a few drinks. I'm your host, Darius, and as always, drink responsibly. And y'all make sure y'all follow Drink It After Dark podcast on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe to Drink It After Dark podcast YouTube channel. Tonight, usually I drink my Crown Royal Vanilla mixed with Dr. Pepper Cream Soda, but tonight uh, I'm just going to drink on a glass of water. Um, I've been having a sore throat, so... Tonight, I'm just drinking water. And also, tonight's episode is sponsored by Joe Sakinab and Sakinab.com. Go visit Sakinab.com for services, monthly updates, and contact information. Once again, visit Sakinab.com, promoting leadership and scholarship. All right, so just a few things before we get started. Uh, once again, y'all make sure y'all uh, follow Drinking After Dark podcast on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And please subscribe to Drinking After Dark Podcast YouTube channel. Also, um, if you want to sponsor Drinking After Dark Podcast, just uh, send a DM to uh, Drinking After Dark Podcast on Facebook and Instagram. And also, if you want to be a guest, you can also do the same thing. Send a DM to Drinking After Dark Podcast on Facebook and Instagram. All right. So let's get started. There's only a couple of things I just want to talk about this evening. So let's get right into it. Uh, First topic. uh, we got to talk about it. The tragic news takeoff from the Migos uh, tragically lost his life the uh, the other night in Houston, Texas, uh, shot and killed over pretty much nothing. It was pretty much uh, nothing. It was a shock to uh, the rap community, to our community. It's, you know, senseless, um, senseless act of violence that took place. And, it's unfortunate that somebody like take off with his talent. Um, a guy who, you know, who was like chill, laid back, didn't mess with anybody. Um, just so happens, you know, was shot and killed by a straight bullet. Uh, there's a lot of things that came to my mind when it first happened. And of course you start seeing his videos and stuff like that come out, uh, before I get to like what's on, well, I'm gonna go ahead and just say what was on my mind. Um, I'm very uh, saddened by what happened. So prayers out to his family, uh, loved ones, you know, those who cared, uh, cared for him. You know, of course, you know all the fans out there who, you know, who was starting to see him to really come around into his own. You know, so uh, it's sad to see that somebody lost his life lost their life uh, to, you know, BS. Let's just call it what it was. It was BS. Uh, but I was shocked. I was shocked. I heard about the news uh, when it first happened um, early in the morning. I was up real early in the morning, and I was on social media, and what I saw was, like, take off, shot dead uh, in Houston. And – uh and um, I was, I don't know, I, I was just, just shocked by the news, you know, so I don't know. It just, it's a sad day. It, it was a sad day, uh, like I said, for the rap community and everything involved. So, so sometimes you just lose words, you know, because it seems like it's a reoccurring thing when it comes to rappers and rappers getting killed and stuff like that. So I just felt, I just felt like at some point it got to stop. You know, at some point it got to stop. And, you know, I, I see a lot of people speaking up 
But unfortunately, it's going to continue to happen. I, I don't know what it is about the, the culture itself, but it's going to continue to happen. And it really, I think, start with the rappers. You know, they got to stand up and say, this has to stop. Um, now, the other thing I want to talk about is this is why I say, you know, social media has ruined the morale of people. You know, when you start seeing videos of somebody's, you know, somebody laid out on the floor and you want to record it and upload it and stuff like that, that to me, that that you will you a punk ass person to do some stuff like that. I just think that certain things don't need to be recorded and uploaded so you can go viral and get a bunch of views and everything like that. Certain things you just gotta, you know, you just gotta have sympathy for what's going on. Instead of recording, hell, try to go get some help. If you're there, try to get some help. And the I don't know who recorded it. Nobody said who recorded it. Um, it's just wrong on so many levels because we're so used to taking out <clears throat> taking out our phones and just want to record all the BS, whether it's fighting, whether it's arguments, whether anything. So you, oh, I got this moment, so I'm going to video it. I'm going to take a video, upload it onto my platform, social media platforms, and let everybody watch it. I'm going to try to get like a million plus views, a bunch of likes and all this stuff, or whatever. You know, it's it's stupid. And, you know, it's, it's unfortunate that shit like that happens. And it, at some point, we just got to stop that. We just got to stop. You know, first, first instinct we want to do is take out our phone instead of going and get some help. You know, you see a person that's in trouble, help them. Don't try to try to get a quick video and make it go viral. You know, so it, that was to me that was wrong in that situation. Now, the fact that Takeoff passed away, uh, he was in Houston. Uh, you know, like I said, chill guy, laid back guy, doesn't really bother anybody, and he he was there with Quavo. You know, they were both there. It was at a, uh, I guess it was like a birthday party at a bowling alley. And obviously after the fact, there was a confrontation that Quavo was a part of. Takeoff wasn't. And, you know, you've seen like a lot of people on social media saying, oh, this is the shooter, that's the shooter. I'm not going to say anything unless, you know, once all the facts out, I'm not the type of person that's going to just say stuff. That's not me. And, uh, you know, shots rang out, you know, also uh, two other people were also shot uh, that night as well. So, you know, it, it was just a mess up situation. It was a small party. It wasn't like it was a big party. It was a small party. And unfortunately, shots rang out. It's just a bad look. It's a bad look. You know, uh, 28 years old, that's not cool to go out. I don't I don't care, man. That's not cool to go out. And, you know, I just, you know, I just want to, you know, send my prayers to everyone who's been affected by this. You know, those who were there, you know, those who, the victims, you know, we, we just got to stop the nonsense, right? We just have to stop it. You know, just getting out of hand. And it's just, and I think the sad part about it is too, is that we're numb to it. I think that's the sad part. I think we're numb to it. We talk about it, we say we stop, but I mean, you saw what happened earlier this year. I mean, it's like a continuing thing. Like why? You see what I'm saying? Like why, why is this always happening? And I think it's something that we need to discuss, something that we probably need to just take a take a step back and really reevaluate the messages that we put out you know what you know what are what are we doing and another point that I want to bring up 
is that this just coming from me. Okay. It's just for me. When you're worth, when you have a, a net worth of like 25 plus million dollars, there's certain things that you shouldn't be doing anymore. You have to move differently when you're worth that much. You see what I'm saying? Because the thing about it is, is that, yeah, you probably the one with the, like, the money and stuff, but everybody around you don't have that. You know, so your circle changes. You're going to have to change. When you, when you get out of the situation that you were previous, previously in, and you're able to, you know, do things now. You have the resources. You could, you know, you have all these uh, business deals. You have uh, endorsement deals. Whatever it is, you have to move differently now. You're a brand, and you have to think think of yourself that way. You just can't keep doing the same stuff you, you know you were doing back before you got money. No, nah, you got to change with it. And unfortunately, a lot of people don't understand that. Because the industry, you know, wh- whatever you're doing, you're still trying to keep in direct contact with it. So, yeah, when you when you have when you're successful like that, you got to just move differently, you know. And not only that, but understand that you can't hang out with everybody either. You just can't. So, like I said, it's uh, you no know, prayers out to the family, everybody that's involved. Uh, you know, it, it was just a sad day. It's a sad day um, for an incident like that to happen. Um, I think we just need to get it together. You know, so like I said, I'm not going to speak any more about it because I don't know all the details. I'm pretty sure more details are going to come about in the coming weeks. So I know a lot of people are going to be paying attention to the news. I know there's going to be some people who are not talking now. They're going to talk later. So if they ever talk. So we just got, you know, just, you know, a lot of speculation, but the people there pretty much said what happened. We're from bowling to shooting dice to an argument and shots rang out. There's tapes out there. And, you know, we just, just got to wait and see in the coming weeks. All right. So let's go ahead and move on to the next topic. Uh, I'm really excited to talk about this. I'm really excited to talk about this topic because uh, if y'all don't know, the college football uh, rankings came out. And the Tennessee Vols is ranked number one in the college football rankings. Uh, And they have a big matchup uh, this weekend against Georgia in Georgia. Two SEC teams in the same division in the SEC going uh, head to head down in Georgia. It's going to be a big time game. Uh, Of course, I'm going for Tennessee. Uh, And you know, this is something like me being a, a Tennessee Vols fan. I looked forward to this moment for a very long time, right? Because we had Peyton Manning, we had T. Martin. Those teams were outstanding. And over the course of time, we had some okay teams, but not a team. Like, this is like the first time we legit, like, you know, we could actually play for a national championship. So, my prediction on this game, I think it's going to be a shootout. Obviously, I got Tennessee win- winning. Uh, the reasons I have Tennessee winning these, this game against Georgia is because I felt like Tennessee has been tested more so than Georgia, right? So nobody really talked, like, even though Georgia was ranked number one in the AP poll, but we all know when the college football ranking come out, they're going to put their top four teams and, you know, those who are on the outside looking in. And, uh, I just felt like Tennessee has been more tested, more impressive. That offense is outstanding. Hendon Hooker should be the Heisman front runner. If he wins this game, I think he should be the Heisman front runner. No doubt. You got a lot. And here's the thing, too. I said this on a a previous episode. 
a lot of these college experts, I don't think they know how to really judge a quarterback. I don't think they really know how to scout a quarterback because you could say they have all the measurements, but measurements don't mean anything without production. And we see a lot of quarterbacks that went in have not succeeded on the next level. So I believe Henry Hooker can succeed on the next level and he should be the, uh, he should be the, uh, the front runner for the Heisman trophy, but Georgia is coming though. I think it's going to be a shootout. I think it's back and forth. I think it's going to come down. Whoever has the last possession is going to win this game. And we all know this is going to be a, a physical game. If you know anything about SEC football, it's physical. It's, you know, a, a, a ground out uh, game in the, in the SEC between, especially with these two teams that's playing right now. So they both got a lot to prove because Georgia believe they should be number one. Tennessee uh, is going to prove, yeah, we are number one. We belong in this spot. I think if this game is really close, in my opinion, if this game is really close and it's like somebody won on a, like a field goal or a one possession, I think both teams will still be in the college playoff picture uh, because they have to look at it and say, hey, are these like two of the best teams in the country out of everybody else? So we, we'll wait and see how the game turns out. I don't expect any blowouts. If it happens, I'll be shocked on either side. I'll be shocked. I believe these are the two best teams in the country. I don't care about Ohio State. I believe Ohio State is overrated. But I believe Tennessee and Georgia are the two best teams in the country, and they're going head-to-head tonight. I expect Hooker to have an outstanding game, a Heisman Heisman Trophy statement game. That's what I expect from him. I expect those uh, Georgia Bulldogs, I expect the uh, defense to come out aggressive. I expect them to really – make their imprint on this game. And it's going to be, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough for both teams on both sides of the ball to uh, really execute and do what they want to in this uh, particular game. So again, I have Tennessee winning in a shootout. Uh, That's just my opinion, but we will see come Saturday. I know I'm so excited about this. I don't know about you guys. Football season is here. and. (laughs) <laughs> well, we'll see, but there's also going to be some other great games, but this is the game. I think pretty much where I'm from, if you're from Georgia, this is the game that you're talking about, you know, so we'll see how things go. I wish it was more in prime time. I think the game should have been more in prime time, but hey, scheduling, you know, they, they set the schedules out what time they're going to play. Hey, all that we can do is just watch them when it's time for them to play that's all i gotta say about that i you can see the smile on my face i'm really excited about this so uh go tennessee tennessee vols i have them winning to remain number one in the uh, college uh, football playoff rankings all right all right so uh before we go any further uh once again uh, make sure y'all like and subscribe to Drink Out the Dark Podcast YouTube channel. Let's get these numbers up, man. Let's 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 run these uh, subscribers up. Let's run these likes up, you know. And also make sure y'all follow uh, Drink Out the Dark Podcast Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Uh, you know, still growing on those platforms. Uh, really, really trying to get up there. That's what I'm all about. I'm really trying to get it up there and trying to bring y'all something new and. Also, too, I, I got some big things going on in 2023. So y'all stay tuned to that. And I'm telling you right now, you ain't going to be disappointed. You ain't going to be disappointed. I'm you know, trying new things. I'm still learning all this stuff out myself. But I'm going to work hard at it. I'm going to continue to build my platform and bring y'all you know, some great content and bring on some amazing guests, too. So I hope you guys are enjoying that. Uh, enjoying what I'm bringing to the table. So uh, I hope everybody had a great Halloween. You know, uh, to me, you know, I'm not. Halloween is cool for me, but uh, 
I hope everybody had a safe and blessed Halloween and everything like that. And I hope you guys are looking forward to uh, this season, this holiday season with Thanksgiving and, you know, the rest of the holidays coming up. So uh, we're going to do some shows surrounding that uh, around those particular uh, days and everything. So stay tuned to that. But, hey, I'm here, baby. I'm here. And this is all I can do. Again, I apologize for not drinking on my crown tonight. Like I said, I had a little bit of a sore throat. So I'm just trying to just, you know, drink some water. I'm drinking some orange juice. But next week, I'll be back with uh with more. Oh, and also, too, uh, not next week, the week after next, I will definitely give you uh, a preview of what kind of forever on uh, Drinking Out the Dark podcast. So y'all stay tuned in that. But uh, I'm going to have to get up out of here. It was great talking to you guys. Also, new episodes up are uploaded every Friday. Every Friday on YouTube, Anchor, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or whatever you listen to podcasts. All right. So tell your friends and family about it. Please listen. Um, share it with your coworkers and stuff like that. And if you also have any suggestions that I should try in terms of drinks, let me know. I'll try it out. All right. Until next time, this is your boy Darius from Drinking Out the Dark Podcast, and we out. Peace. Gotta get to the money. Gotta get to the money. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Early morning, so you know that I'm on. So you know that I'm on. Gotta make sure that my fans are straight. Gotta make sure that my teeth are straight. Get to the money, get to the money, uh-huh.